Hey everyone, okay, so today we're going to be talking about eyebrows and the eyebrow mistakes that we all make and you know, I'm going to show you pictures. Now bear in mind because there's always people out there that are going to be getting pissy, you know. It's just makeup. You know, an overplucked eyebrow, I may not like it, but it may look absolutely brilliant on you. And if that's the case, then absolutely wonderful. There are no rules. These are just likes and dislikes, so just bear that in mind. So let's talk about some eyebrow shapes and overplucking and that sort of stuff. So the first one is overplucking. This is where you have this ultra thin, barely any hair there eyebrow. Now what this can do, particularly um, as we get older or if we've got heavy lids, is create the illusion of a huge amount of eyelid and not in a good way, particularly if we've got hooded eyes. It overemphasizes them. The brows are the most, one of the most important things on your face to frame the eyes. By overplucking them and taking out almost all the hairs, we are left with this huge, huge space that we need to fill and that's why overplucking can sometimes be not the best idea. The next one is tadpole, eye, uh, tadpole eyebrows, which is where they are ultra thin at the ends, but then there's like this rounded dot here, and then they get ultra thin. It's a very strange look, and it I, I don't quite understand. This is probably, of all the eyebrow shapes, the one I understand the least, because it is such an extreme shape. I, I really don't understand. If you understand it, then let me know in the comments, because I don't understand it, and I, and I do wonder. I can understand thin eyebrows and overarches and all that, but I can't understand the tadpole one. So if you can, let me know. The next one is what I call sad brows, which is where the brow comes down. And it just, so let me get a, you know where the brow goes down in the slant, it makes you look very, very sad and slightly angry looking at the same time. Um, I'm not quite sure, I mean, everybody's eyebrows are different, but I'm not quite sure why you would want them to go in a downward motion since we're all getting older and everything's coming down anyway. Kind of better to lift things up. So the downward motion one, mm, not too sure about that. The next one is what I like to call, or what is also known as the parting of the Red Sea, which is where you decide to pluck your eyebrows completely gone and then just say, we'll start them here. So you've started your eyebrow here and then it goes out, giving you the most fabulous looking expression on your face that you've ever seen before, where they just, they start like here and then go out. Not quite sure if that is a trend or if it was a mistake by somebody and it caught on. It's a, it's a, it's a very strange little, it's a very strange look. And lastly is the triangle, which is also called the arch. The triangle is a very, very, very arched eyebrow. And let me say that it looks great on certain people. Um, it really can look absolutely amazing. Now I prefer a brow that has just a small amount of arch, but some people this overarch looks amazing. Those people it doesn't tend to look that best on are aging eyes and overly hooded eyes, particularly hooded eyes that have occurred through age where the crease comes down. Because the more space you have here by creating an arch, the more space you have to fill. And if this is hanging down low through age, you're just drawing attention to that. But I'm not a, you know, all the eyebrows I've mentioned, they are just illustrations. There are a million different ways of doing your eyebrows. And if you watch and stay tuned for the next tutorial, then you will notice I'm gonna give you a quick tip on where to start your eyebrows. And this will, this tip is so cool, it can absolutely change your life. So let me know what your favorite eyebrow shape is, why, and post video responses if you want of your eyebrow tutorials. It'd be really great to hear from you. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.